What's up everyone, it's Joey, Bluff Response, and today we're checking out the Make Noise Soundhack Spectrophone. Let's get right into it. Spectrophone. So, what is it? It's basically an additive synthesis, an FM oscillator using both resynthesis, storing of spectra, and uh, recall of those spectras to self-oscillate. So when you talk about storing of spectra, what it does is it samples whatever you're feeding it, samples, and resynthesizes it into a bank of, of harmonics um, to do additive synthesis. Really cool, let's hear it. So first off, this is just its droning, and I'm feeding a DPO into side B, which is in spectral array. Uh, it's an SAM mode, forgive me on the acronym, which is then feeding into oscillator A. So right now we're only hearing uh, B. And as you can see, as I tweak the DPO, changes the sound. You can use focus and slide to narrow in on different harmonics. And then I can press shift and array to save that. Now if I go to spectral oscillation, this is what I just sampled from the DPO. So very simple. But we'll go back to processing because I want to show some, some uh, cool ideas. Basically, uh, it's really cool. Now we're hearing oscillator A, which is receiving from B. They're both in external analysis mode, so the DPO is going into B, being analyzed, and then that result is going into A. Which creates really strange things. And partials is like your amount of, of harmonics uh, and can be used for amplitude. Normally you have um, odd partials out on these two inputs, uh, but you can separate the even ones if you want. There's also an FM bus. which just sounds incredible. This thing is really next level. I've got it going through my mail phone for some space as well as QPOS. Just for some, some fun times. You get me, you feel me. So let's start sequencing it. Another thing I wanna show is um, drums. So right now I'm feeding it some drums. And we'll listen to oscillator B. That's entirely generated from the input signal, which is the drums. You can hear it better that way. Really kind of cool. There's a lot you can do with this, depending on if you feed it samples, sounds of dialogue, voices, whatever. You just do so much. So we could switch arrays by pressing shift on the one you want to switch and then the other shift button. And now I want to sample this array, but maybe let's tweak it a little. That sounds about right, so we'll shift. Press array, now it's saved. Now we go to oscillation. Okay, so we saved it as a new array and now you can scan through different ones to get different results. And of course they all have different amplitudes and stuff. So this is just it oscillating based on what it was fed before. Now we'll send it a pitch sequence and we'll start doing some proper sequences. And we'll send it a, an amplitude envelope to the QPOS. I'm not feeling that sequence, hold on. Now we'll both put them into uh, analysis again and listen to an A. We'll insert an envelope for the FM. And remember, this is being fed entirely from the drum loop, which is pretty nuts if you think about it. 
just through two different uh, arrays here. We can blend them in, but you're hearing both. A little bit of Cupos. I love Cupos, such a liquid filter. I wanted to go all make noise with this one for a reason. Now we'll feed some CV into the FM bus from another envelope. And you can see where we're going with this. And you can make oscillator be follow the pitch. If it's, if it's lit, it's following the pitch. So you can get different ratios or you could do hard sync when it's flashing. And yeah, focus kind of narrows down what spectra, so you gotta just manage that when you're tweaking live. But you get some crazy sounds. Ooh. That's entirely it being fed by the drums. Let's feed it from the DPO. Now, crazy sound. There's a lot of variation in amplitude here. Let's see if I feed the same pitch sequence to the DPO, what happens. Trippy. Love it. What's the matter? Dry. Let's speed it up. have a drone. And we've been hearing both this whole time. Here's just A, and now here's B. Remember, they're both getting signal from the DPO. Changing the pitch on the DPO now. Now I'm changing the wave shape on the DPO. Now we'll hear A. What a weird... It's like giving a new lease on life to these oscillators. Let's try with the Instruo CSL. 
Notice it went silent because I pulled out because it's analyzing. So we'll go out of the final output here. Trippy. We'll just hear B for now. And you can see how it influences it. Every time you change settings. Trippy. Let's hear A again. Oh, it's totally noise. Crazy. Oh, because the FM. Oh, fucking sick. <laughs> Insane. This thing is already a new favorite. I mean, it has been since I got it. The manual was only published like a few days ago, so I've really been grasping what it's been doing, but how, how dynamic. That FM is insane. We'll sample this spectra. Why not? And now we'll put B into oscillation. And you see it sampled it. So much dynamics with the event. We'll put it at follow. Unplug the pitch. So sick. Just doing some drum programming. Cupas. Fuck, this thing rules. Yeah. Instant EBM bass art machine. Insane. And we're just hearing A. Now we'll bring B into. Oh. This thing. Oh, girl. Fucking tough. Just 
Namaste. Techno. There's a wide range of sounds here. Now feed it the drum loop again. That's all the drums going in there. We'll just hear B now, which is directly being fed the drum loop. Dry. Now we'll hear A blended too. Now just A. And that's literally the drum loop. You just gotta play with it. Oh. <laughs> How did that even happen? From the frequency. Hard sink. Bring up the. This thing is a fucking machine. Ooh. and see how the drum loop going in affects it. Now we'll go back to the CSL. Now the CSL is feeding it. So trippy. No FM. Smoking. Amazing tone. Ooh. Backwards FM. Let's try modulating shit. I've been doing it with no CV this whole time because it just sounds so crazy. Take some LFOs from the Kermit. Into slide. And it's a focus on B. Insane. We'll put B into oscillation. Try it up. And then we'll take the sign out from B into the partials of it. Or no, we'll take the um, the output of B. 
Or no, we'll take it from the instrumental. Lower B. This is A being modulated. And not having the effect I thought it would, to be honest. Okay, not as cool as I thought it would be. Ah, uh, okay, now we're in there. Partial modulations, basically amplitude modulation. Now some FM. Now we'll take the even from A. Put B back into analysis. Bring in B. This is definitely the strangest complex oscillator ever. And it's going to require a lot of experimentation. Turn off sync. Ripped out. Wow. Now we're just hearing A. B was sounding cooler. Let's go back to B. I was modulating A with B and wow. This also lights up to show you when you're on a harmonic ratio. Oh my god. Some delay. LFO into that Volper Octave input for sure now. And now that's the Instrual CSL's pitch being modulated going to and it's getting this crazy formant effect. Insane. Wow. Oh my god. That's fucking insane. Wow. Wow. Fucking Christ. both A and B. Oh. 
rumble. What a trip. There's no filtering happening there. This thing is... God, it's insane. This has all just been processing external audio, like, oh man. I can't stop saying wow, this thing is just goddamn. Oh my god Amazing. Phone. So that was properly insane. I think this is the most exciting new module I've heard in such a long time. I'm blown away by the sounds, the capabilities, the way you can process external audio, route one uh, oscillator into the other, the FM bus, it all just sounds magical. Uh, of course, it has a certain tone, a certain vibe, but uh, with more time, I'm sure there'll be more you can extract with it. I was continuously blown away with the tones I was hearing. I, I My jaw just kept dropping over and over. From the first time I heard it at Superbooth, I knew this was one for me, and this is the best new module I have tried in such a long time. It's innovative, it's cool. The Rossum Pen Harmonium, I would say, um, has a comparable idea, but they're so different. I don't think I would be able to take one over the other. Uh, I love both. This one, just wow. The ability to have two processors, you can split harmonics and stereo, just storing your spectra. It, ugh, I have no words. It's, it's that damn good. It is that damn good. So, as always, samples of this jam and every other jam are gonna be up on my Patreon. Uh, if you wanna support me, I have a new album out called Neuroscape on vinyl, double LP, and digital with guest appearances from Bon Harris and Richard Devine, as well as my project Hakai uh, has a new EP coming out on cassette and digital with six tracks of smashing acid a techno, including a remix from Alessandro Nero. Uh, if you wanna support my label Megastructure, you can check out all the releases on there. There are more coming soon. Uh, 
uh, if you want to buy a Spectra phone, there's going to be affiliate links in the pinned comment and video description where you can do so. And anything you buy through that link will help me out, even if it's just a cable. And also, there will be a link for you to sign up for DistroKid and distribute your music. That's what I use for Megastructure, and they've been a great help to me. So, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Peace out.